Ah, de la cagne. I had been kind of planning this video over the last couple of days and really as an afterthought from my video I did on you know banging on about pipes and the fact that I've got enough pipes but having done the last two videos where again I'm trying two different tobaccos out this just kind of reinforces what I want to say um, how long have I been on the YouTube now the channel now for two months just a little over two months and more than any other time, I have been trying a lot of tobaccos. That has been obvious in some of the videos I'm making, far too many, and I've been almost overwhelmed by them. But the more I do it, and the more I watch YouTube presenters, the more I look on websites, the more I realise how many tobaccos are out there that I need to try. You know, even in the UK, some in Europe, and I haven't even started on the United States yet. I mean, I haven't really, apart from the half and half, I don't think I've tried any of the American tobaccos, and I know there are literally well, dozens, hundreds possibly, and you've got to stop at some point. Um, and I do want to get to the stage where I can settle on some tobaccos. As I said before, what number, you know? And I'd always said it was probably going to be about a dozen, but I would struggle with that um, on the ones I've tried and I know I really like. And I think what particularly sparked me off to do this was just a chance comment left by Gustavo the excellent Gustavo, uh, Requiem Pipes, when he left a, a comment on, um, again, my Pipe Thoughts video. I'd made some allusion to the fact that, you know, if you, even if you want to go collecting pipes or you've got enough pipes, it may give you a chance to just keep on trying tobaccos. But then I also realised that there were some of you who have got enough pipes and you have enough tobaccos. And Gustavo said, well, I'm quite happy to stick with the 15 or 20 tobaccos that I like. And I thought, 15 or 20? Originally I thought that was probably too many, but I like it. I may go to the higher end there, and I could probably do that. It still seems quite a lot, but when you think that then, oh my God, what is this? I don't know how many times the amount of tobaccos there are. It, when you put it into perspective like that, it doesn't actually seem a lot. So that's my New Year's resolution. Um, I'm starting January, and I, I, my birthday's in March, so hopefully by then, okay, it's three months, I'm going to, pull back on trying a load of more, more tobaccos yeah and look back on the ones that I've been smoking over the last year where I say more than any other time since I've been smoking I've been trying tobaccos out now some I will already have on a top 10 they're just no-brainers and they'll go straight on there but there are some that are on the wings where I've been thinking oh do I need to shuffle these about move this one some I like equally you know and I'll put them into ranges so the important thing is going to be and this one's really obvious, I can get them readily. So they're available regularly because, you know, this curly strand that I was, was reviewing earlier, sorry, commenting on earlier, I could happily put in my top 20 list, but it's going to be difficult for me to get hold of unless I do regular exchanges with someone. I don't particularly want to get into that. It's, um, it's making too much of a commitment between two people. So they've got to be ready available, which means in the UK, essentially, and I've got to be able to order on a website and get them delivered fairly quickly. Now, I'm assuming, you know, with all the videos that are going on, that we're still going to be able to get tobacco, pipe tobacco, for the foreseeable future. I'm then going to break them down into the four main tobacco types that I like. Virginias and all the variations of, um, excluding vapours. So, you know, the rum flavoured ones, the natural Virginias, um, Lakelands, what we would normally call pure Virginias. Secondly, the vapours. Um, then it's going to have to be Orientals, yeah. Um, I'm finding that I do quite like the Orientals. And the fourth, and again, this is undecided, but I am quite liking them, are the Scottish blends, yeah. So I know I've left aromatics out there, and I've said it before many times to the point of being boring I suppose is that I don't like aromatics however I feel as if I should have one or two aromatics in there I don't hate aromatics and it may be that you know I've got a couple which I quite like I tend to like the soft what I call the soft aromatics and I think those are the ones that haven't got a heavy moist casing on them they're made from natural cavendishes black cavendishes but they're quite soft they're subtle they're not reeking vanilla or reeking fruit 
they've got a subtlety to them. And there's a couple I've got in mind. Some of them just accidental, really. I went back to the uh, video a few video ago when I had this kind of Carrie's uh, Bruno mixture, which is unashamedly supposed to be a St. Bruno's replica. But because it's got Cavendish in there, accidentally it's turned out to be a lovely aromatic. It's got that St. Bruno flavour to it but you've got the wisps of sweetness and the Cavendish going through, which makes it, to my mind, a lovely aromatic. So that's probably what I'm gonna put in there. Um, what's another one I quite liked? Um, in fact, I can't remember, so I might be wrong here. I tried the Rattray's Child mixture. Um, again, that's what I would call a soft aromatic, but not overwhelming. Now, what I'm not gonna bloody put in there is this, okay? Now, I'm not, di I'm not dissing this tobacco in any way. This is Rattray's Bagpiper's Dream. Now why the hell did I, well, I bought 100 grams, that's because all I could get it in. I knew it was an aromatic, so I don't know why. I was just intrigued. I thought it was going to be more of a Scottish blend that I was trying, but this is, oh my God. This is eye opening, yeah. Either a bottle of whiskey that's got loads of candied fruit in it. You know, and I, I'm going to put that away. I just don't like that at all. But I have tried it in terms of smoking it. And it's just, aromatic through and through strong fruity almost sickly um, I've given a couple of samples away to some of my fellow presenters and I've not heard any feedback I think Terry Love UK tried it and he didn't like it either don't blame me Terry um, AD AD I think he's tried it right back I need to look back on his, on his videos um, I can't remember AD whether you liked it or not oh sorry I'm gonna have to go back and check on your videos there um, it was, it's, it's quite a while ago one of your early ones I think so um, that's not going to go on my top 20 list. But anyway, that's my New Year's resolution. I say I don't do resolutions and I haven't done for bloody years. So this is one I'm tending to stick with. You know, the other ones have been give up smoking fangs, lose weight. Okay, well, I've done too bad in the fangs. Losing weight, fail. Be healthier, go walking more. <laughs> I do quite a lot of walking as it happens because I don't have a car. Um, but this one's much more interesting, so I need to start making lists and uh, I don't know. If I remember, I'll try to do an update on that sometime near March to see whether I succeeded on it. If I have, I'll, I'll do a video on it. On it. So, um, are any of you guys doing resolutions in terms of um, well, tobacco related, really? I don't want to know whether you're going to lose weight or that kind of thing, but in terms of, are you going to buy more pipes? Are you going to buy a certain range of pipes? Are you going to stick to um, a certain type of pipe? And in terms of any resolutions or plans you have for your, for your backies or your rotation of tobaccos. I really would be interested to know. So, you know, pop some videos up if you want. Again, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, hope everyone's okay. Um, I'm planning to sort of um, check in again soon, but I'm finding I'm getting a lot of stuff done during the week now. I kind of found my pace in terms of video making. So it's probably just gonna be um, once a week now. And uh, hopefully that, that'll be the weekend rather than during the week because the lights are drawing in it's getting dark by the time you come in get something to eat have a little drink time is going on so um i'm gonna leave it there take good care guys i'm really enjoying your videos thanks for everyone who's has, has subscribed to me recently and i hope i've commented back with some thanks and i hope i've also been catching up with the comments you've been making if i haven't I apologize sincerely. I have been watching all your videos. I'm trying to keep up with that. So things in that respect are getting a little bit easier. Keep the videos coming. It's getting up to Christmas. I'm looking forward to that. So hopefully we can all do some um, Christmas type videos and great part of the community. We wish each other the, the Merry Christmas in some inventive ways. Mine probably won't be inventive because I'm not very inventive in front of the camera. Take care guys. All the best. Bye bye.